in the body page, let's bring on a box. That will be our agent. Now let's get this agent going. I'll go to the brain page and using the output TZ. Set the value to 1 and play the simulation. Now that we have some motion, we can add some variation using the timer node. As you can see, the timer is set to 1 second before it resets. We can change this by using the range value. If we go over here and click on endless, you'll see the timer will continue past the range that we've set. But for this lesson, we're going to leave this switched off. The rate value is in units per second and can affect the rate of the timer. If we set the rate to 0 0.5, you'll see that the rate that the timer runs is half. We're going to be using the timer to say when the agent moves up and down. So let's bring on a fuzz node, which starts at off and goes to on and then goes to off again. And we're going to have this effect the output ty. Set the range at minus 1 to 1. Now bring on two defuzz nodes. These will set the values for the up and down movement of the agent. For down, set the value at minus 1. And as there's no input connections coming into the node, we'll set this to else, and therefore it will be the default movement of the agent. For up, set it to 1 and connect the fuzz node to it. Now let's see what that does. We now have the agent moving up and down and as you can see the timer is feeding in the value for the fuzz node. Timers can run on their own or you can have an input connected to them. However, the timer will not start until it receives a value above 0 0.5. But now, let's take a look at the noise node. You can see as we start the simulation, it has given us a random value. But the value doesn't change. The rate slider controls the frequency of the variation. The noise node can add randomness to the agent's movements or decision making. Here, we're going to randomize the agent's turns. Let's bring on a fuzz node and using the S curve, set a value to be true at about halfway. This way, we should get about a 50 50 chance of making the agent turn and we're going to use the output RY to do so. Set the range at 0 to 90 and bring on two DFAS nodes. One will be used to give the value to turn left and one will be used to give the value to go straight. As we want the agent to go straight as default, we'll set this to else and leave the value at zero. And for the left turn, we'll give a value of about 20 degrees and connect the fuzz node to it. Now if we play the simulation and select the fuzz node, you can see the agent will make a left turn and will continue to do so as long as the noise node is inputting a value above the 50% line. We can use the fuzz node to adjust the frequency the agent makes those turns.